Church leaders and health advocates from across Indianapolis have been working to come up with ways to better serve the health needs of minority communities. WRTV's Stephanie Wade joined in on the discussion and shares this grassroots effort to help improve health care in places where it's needed most. Doctors, as well as the rest of the medical community, have to take note. That's the message from church leaders and health advocates across Indianapolis, a part of this coalition working to improve health and wellness within their communities. Throughout the pandemic, church leaders recognized they needed to step in to help their congregations. We will even engage in mobile units to involve dental cleaning, AIDS testing, COVID testing. But also recognized help was needed way before COVID-19 ever existed, highlighting disparities in the healthcare system, especially among minorities. One pastor sharing this personal story about his niece during delivery. After the birth, she was bleeding and uh, they had to call several times for the nurse or somebody to come to help her stop bleeding and there was no response. Another form of discrimination mentioned. If a person has public assistance versus private assistance, there's also that is a factor of discrimination within the level of care that is received. These practices are real, that it's not imagined. State Representative Robin Shackelford also joined in on the conversation to share what's being introduced at the State House in light of the death of Dr. Susan Moore, who died of complications from COVID-19 and previously claimed she was mistreated and racially discriminated against while a patient at the hospital. I think that their deaths just put a more light on it and the need for um, cultural training from our health care providers. House Bill 1333 proposes the State Department of Health and the Minority Health Department come up with a curriculum that health care providers will have to complete at least two hours of cultural training a year. That is essential uh, because that, that's what's missing sharing lessons learned and unique methods of support to close the health care gap among the most vulnerable communities. I believe the medical community is working toward that. We just need to push them along. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. At the bottom of this story on our website, you can find additional free resources through the IU Fairbanks School of Medicine, which is working to advocate for women of color who are pregnant. You can learn more at our website at WRTV.com.